Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're going to be talking about generators in Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. So once you have installed a template from MotionVFX.com via M Installer, you know that you can locate that over in your Generators tab or your Titles tab under Motion VFX. So you can see here we have Project 1665 loaded. But let's say you want to get in and fine tune some of this information and Final Cut isn't letting you do exactly what you want. There are two ways to open this in Apple Motion and then you can make adjustments there. One of your ways is by going over into your generators tab under Motion VFX, find the project that you would like to work with. In this case, it's Project 1665. We can right click and open in motion. And it is literally as simple as that. And now you have all of your content here, not only in Apple Motion, but it is all fully customizable if you would like to make your tweaks in that way. There is one additional way to open in motion, which I'm going to show you right now, and that is via M Installer. So once you've opened M Installer, if you know that this is going to be a template, you can go into your templates and we can look at all of the different projects that have been installed. This means it is installed in Final Cut Pro, but of course you have it. It's very simple. Motion VFX has made it as easy as it can be. You simply click open in motion and we are going to get all of the projects that are available and you even get to select what frame rate you want to open it in. And boom, you just click run. And there it is. It is open in motion for you and you are good to go. Once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.